AI is getting faster, smarter, and more distributed, and that is pushing traditional cloud architectures to their limits. Akamai is now taking a bold step with its new inference cloud built to bring AI intelligence closer to where data is created and decisions are made at the edge. And joining me today is once again, Ari Weil, VP of Product Marketing at Akamai, live from NVIDIA GTC at Washington DC. Ari, Akamai has already defined computing at the edge. Now with Akamai Inference Cloud, you are aiming to redefine how AI operates globally. Tell us about this evolution and how it builds on Akamai's heritage at the edge. The biggest change that we've seen in the industry is that content is going from a static asset to something that is generated by compute on the fly in real time. And so what we've partnered with NVIDIA to do is to take the benefits of Akamai Cloud and our distributed global network, Akamai Security, and to combine those capabilities into what we're calling the Akamai Inference Cloud, powered by NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture and enterprise AI. And basically the promise and the, the vision of the platform is to extend all of that intelligence from AI factories, from a centralized core asset where intelligence lives to turn into actions and outcomes for our customers closer to where machines and users will interact with that data and want to derive intelligence. That's something that Akamai has been great at to scale the internet up until this point. And as we look at the, the web and the internet becoming more of a machine to machine interaction, more inference is going to be the way that applications and experiences are created. And eventually we'll move into a machine to machine agentic web. That is where we're deploying dense computing with NVIDIA support so that we can ready our, our application network to become a generative network for the future of real-time content generation and distribution. As you rightly mentioned, this collaboration with NVIDIA seems to be at the heart of the launch. How do Akamai's massive global edge infrastructure and NVIDIA's Blackwell AI technology come together to create something new for enterprise AI? So enterprises right now across every vertical, every industry are adapting to what AI means. It means the way that users find them today is increasingly being shaped by LLMs, whether it's Gemini search or if they're searching through JetGPT or another vehicle like that. And so that is starting to put a thumb on the scale for how users are actually finding brands, finding content and experiencing the, the intelligence that they experience because what they are being shown is now changing in the face of, of AI-based search. It's not just search. It's also the way that we're creating and consuming content. We are creating better capability to consume uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, and that's powered by 8K video. 8K video is something that Akamai has been great at delivering when possible, when we actually have devices that we can deliver to. But when you think about real-time capture and egress of things like sporting events or anomalies that you might capture really in any sort of a video capture use case, the problem is always getting that raw video from the capture to whoever needs to consume it without a loss of quality, without any sort of, of errors or anomalies in the feed, but also doing it in a cost-effective and real-time fashion. Akamai is adapting our existing capabilities for Akamai Cloud and security to now add generative capabilities and distributing both GPUs and enterprise AI software to enable businesses to go from the AI factories that they use to build and create their core intelligence to then distributing that intelligence and creating better time mapping to the right models, to the right infrastructure, and ultimately maximizing real-time interactions at the internet edge in, in a way that the industry is just on the precipice of, of really requiring. But based on the announcement that we heard yesterday during Jensen Wong's keynote, this is going to be the big scaling um, event for AI that we have been building towards with all the work that we've done training models and building AI factories. The next scaling phase is going to be multi-step inference and long thinking. And that's where we see enterprises investing in building new agents, building new experiences, and requiring a distributed platform like Akamai to help them from going from yesterday's applications and how they're adapting them today to what they want to build into the future and where their businesses are going to go tomorrow. Yes, I remember Akamai's partnership with Harmonic. From a business perspective, what kind of new AI experiences or capabilities does this combination unlock for customers? Things like in the media industry, it's real-time video intelligence. 
the ability to capture a stream, identify any anomalies or anything interesting in the stream, and then very quickly to be able to deliver derivative works. So whether that be, I want to enable a new type of market for betting on a game, I want to enable people to better appreciate plays or their favorite players, uh, we want to apply it to different use cases where, you know, let's say even in, in real time um, capture of, of uh, what's the word I'm looking for, in reality TV, where people set up, you know, hundreds potentially of cameras, but they might not all be active at a given point in time. Artificial intelligence can help us to figure out where the action is, capture that action in real time, process what's interesting about that action, create a derivative work from it, and then distribute it because all of that intelligence is now happening closer to where the video capture occurred and to where we have to send it for our customers. If we look at uh, commerce and travel, that's where we're seeing people evolving what they currently do with recommendations engines and creating personalized experiences for their users. That could be anything from what I wanna buy from a given um, you know, company to go from, I'm interested in buying a sweater to let me help you understand what you typically enjoy for me and what is the most appropriate thing where you live or where you might be traveling based on your previous feedback. All of the stuff that we up until now have not been able to do in real time programmatically and have required customer service, uh, customer success management and other sort of human interactions or just time-based delays will be able to happen in real time because the intelligence is in the model. And the proprietary data most businesses already have about their inventory, about their customers, about their customers' social interactions and everything else, it's bringing it together and being able to process that and deliver intelligence and an outcome in real time that we are, are delivering with the Akamai Inference Cloud. And as we extend that, we're starting to experiment with our customers on things like real-time fraud detection, real-time approvals of you know people who are looking for a loan or maybe to finance a home purchase. And then as we go further, it's physical AI uh, use cases, things like integration with robots, supply chains, what we can do with healthcare and life sciences. Um, there are a number of practical real world applications that we are moving towards as agents and machine to machine interaction will become a reality and are starting to take hold. But today, the realization of inference at scale is where Akamai is really interested in investing now because that's what we see our enterprises doing right now today that is business critical for them to grow over the next two to three years. As you rightly mentioned, as AI becomes more real-time and agentic, latency and proximity becomes mission critical. How does moving inference to the edge transforms performance, security, and cost for organizations deploying AI at a scale? One of the best things that the edge can help you do is to provide that, that coordination and that orchestration layer as quickly as possible based on user interaction. And so things like, how do I get you to the right infrastructure, the right model, the right application, based on the use case and what you are asking of the AI application, that is one of the best benefits that Akamai can provide immediately. That's where we're deploying our GPUs and providing the processing power very close to where the action is. But as we look to the future, Akamai, the fact that we've built the Akamai Cloud on open source, that we're focusing on true multi-cloud portability of AI workloads is going to become critical for scaling of every bit of AI infrastructure because AI is not going to be built on a single cloud or with a single provider. It is going to require the intelligence and the orchestration across a number of different providers and physical locations. And so where Akamai is truly investing and where we've been extending what we've done for the last 25 years of our history is taking that orchestration, the ability to combine real-time context and capacity at the edge, and then delivering real-time intelligent outcomes. Now we are going to be increasingly doing that for dynamic content that gets generated in real-time at the edge, where in the past we've done it with static assets and static content. We've been evolving that over the last 25 years of our legacy, adding security, adding edge computing, adding both serverless and heavier stateful functions to our platform. Oh. Now bringing all of that together with other announcements that we've made, partnering with vast data for a data fabric to ensure that we can move data very quickly across our network, where we have different managed database and object and block storage offerings so that you've got the flexibility to store your embeddings, to store your core data, to, to have hosted models, but also to connect to other models so that we can enable your data pipelines on the Akamai platform and then ultimately to realize the output closer to where your users are with an initial 20 location distribution of the Akamai Inference Cloud, but expanding quickly to thousands of locations globally across our 4,000 points of presence around the world. That's where we really feel that we'll be unlocking the promise of the AI factory and bringing that intelligence 
to the edge in a global fashion. Now, the fact is that many enterprises are struggling to balance centralized compute costs with the need for real-time intelligence. How does Akamai Inference Cloud help bridge that gap between data centers and edge environments? So there's a couple of ways that we're doing it. The first answer to your question is we're applying things like model routing and decision routing so that we can choose things based on, choose the model that we would ship you to or direct you to the right infrastructure based on latency, based on cost, or based on security considerations. And so we'll have the ability to send you to the purpose-built location for your use case. And if cost is a factor, then adding things like how far do we have to transit? What are the egress uh, fees associated with getting data from a given location? Can we cache that information on the Akamai platform and provide you with instantaneous results, like using our AI firewall capability for semantic caching, so that if somebody's asked a question recently that, that your query, your prompt can, can use, then there's no point in us going back to ask your, your centralized AI factory, to ask your core model, to go back to your, your hosted infrastructure, because that adds cost, it adds latency, and it adds potential security vulnerabilities to delivering an outcome. And so for us, our goal is if we can cache it and deliver you instantaneous results, we will. If we can route you to the most cost-effective model, we're interested in doing that. If it's better for you to build your AI applications on the Akamai cloud, because we're built on open source, we have very competitive pricing and, and some of the most generous egress fees or allowances and fees that, across the industry, we can make it more cost effective to build on us, but we also want to be practical and say that based on what your business needs, it really is going to be that trade-off of, does it have to be fast? Does it have to be secure? Does it have to be cost effective? And what is the most relevant to prioritize for a given use case? In most cases, there are great ideas, folks want to do great things, but they don't have the architecture or infrastructure needed to do that. How do you see Akamai Inference Cloud help the next generation of AI innovation? It could be financial system, it could be autonomous machine, or even the smarter cities. So one of the things that we're the most excited about on, the, on our Inference Cloud, and, and frankly, the Akamai Cloud itself, is the fact that we invested in the application platform the app platform really lets developers have turnkey AI implementations now with the announcement of the Inference Cloud. And that's something that at KubeCon in two weeks, we're going to be talking about. So KubeCon North America in Atlanta, we will have demos and be engaging with developers on how they can have turnkey AI applications using the Akamai app platform built on the Linode's Kubernetes engine on the Akamai Cloud. We believe that that is one of the ways that will eliminate the toil and the cost of scaling AI operations on our cloud. The fact that it's built on Kubernetes and Linux means that we won't have lock-in for proprietary you know, operating systems, proprietary um, implementations of Kubernetes. And then we've allowed a, a multi-cloud distribution of both the app platform code and anything that you would build on top of it. And so for us, that's a way that we're enabling true multi-cloud distribution. We're also allowing you to keep your costs down, but more importantly, we're helping you get your AI applications to market faster. And as we build out the next several months of developments on the Inference Cloud, we'll start showing developers the hosted models that we're prioritizing, the way that we're helping them ship those models to the appropriate endpoints. And then with the ecosystem of partners that we're building out, including upstream projects in the CNCF community and across the open source ecosystem, we're also interested in helping developers to make sure that they can leverage whatever project, whatever technology they feel is appropriate for their app without incurring additional costs. Ari, thank you for joining me and sharing these insights right from NVIDIA GTC. It is clear that bringing AI inference to the edge isn't just about optimization. It is going to be the foundation for the next generation of intelligent responsive systems. Thank you for insights and I look forward to chat with you again. And for those watching, if you are exploring how to run AI closer to your users and data, make sure to check out Akamai and its inference cloud solutions. And don't forget to subscribe to TFIR, like this video, and share it with your teams. Thanks for watching.